This is Sergeant Coast Guard. Uh, my name's Alan Waters. I'm one of the watch officers here and also search mission coordinator. Where does the signal come from and go to? Okay, well, the, the signal for AIS is based on the, the VHF, so like your, your handheld radio or your, the radio that Chris has got on the boat. Um, and it transmits electronically, similar to the DSC. Um, and the information is all fed in, so it, it takes the GPS position, um, it takes the course and the speed of the boat or the ship, um, and that's then what's displayed on here. So you've got a network of receiving masts to receive the AIS data, have you? Yeah, we have. Um, there's three aerials that we have at, at Southern Coast Guard. One is uh, at the Needles here yep. on the uh, western end of the Isle of Wight. The middle one is at Selsey Bill, uh, and the one on the eastern end is at our aerial site at New Haven. All of the green targets on there are commercial vessels, so they're ones over 500 tonnes, or ones with more than 12 passengers on them, um, and they're legally required to, to transmit AIS. Um, the yellow ones are more leisure vessels. So they're like Chris's boat would be, um, sort of yachts um, and anything that's under 500 tonnes or um, has got less than 12 passengers on it. But the difference between the two, the green ones are called AISA and they're legally required to carry those. And the yellow ones are AISB, which is um, optional. So it's just a, another way of them being spotted by a bigger ship. What are the red ones? You've got two that are red. The red ones are navigation marks or oh, I see. specific marks. The one, the northern one of the two is the Rampion Met Mast. Um, and the, the southern one, the one down here, is um, the Greenwich Light Vessel. Which at the moment, there's no light vessel there at all. That's being fed in by Trinity House. So is this a busy night or is this a regular? Um, this is fairly regular. This is typical of the run up to Christmas. Um, Christmas, Easter, um, the run up to the summer holidays tend to be busier. But if you look, I think there's somewhere around about 20,000 shipping movements in the English Channel every day. Um, as sort of a baseline figure. And the ones that have got a little tick on the end, that's that's their rate of turn, I assume, yep. is it? So I don't know if I can get that one in. There we go. So there's one here with a, that's the, the length of the line is how fast it's going. That's right. And that, that particular vessel in the middle of the screen there is turning to starboard. This, this, this one down here in the bottom corner. Yep. That's it.